Well, whether you graduated from college this past spring or years ago, you may wonder if going back for your master's or even a doctoral program is right for you. Our next guest can help answer those questions. Tony Dennis is from the Graduate College at Western Michigan University, where there'll be a free event for anyone interested in learning more about advanced study options. Good morning, Tony. Good morning. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thanks so much for being with us. Let's start with, you know, what is the most common question that you get from someone if they feel like maybe they want to go back to grad school? Uh, typically, it's where do I start? And what we're here to do is uh, help students um, as they make that transition going back to school. Sometimes it's not always easy, but we ask, what are your career goals and your career pathway? And we try to direct students to a program that will help them along that trajectory. Yeah, it can be a pretty confusing path for sure. Um, and sometimes it's, it, is it worth it? I guess it's probably a question that you get asked a lot, you know, because the market is different for, for employment these days. So what are you telling people about going back to school? Well, absolutely it's worth it because I think what you wanna do is position yourself um, when you think about your career, uh, having the necessary skill set. So when that job opportunity comes, you are prepared to go into the workforce and you are competent and well-trained and educated in that field to excel at the highest level. And so we try to prepare students. Matter of fact, we do in, in so many ways um, to uh, take a look at programs that might help them be ready when that job opportunity comes. Wonderful. And of course, this is a one stop shop, this event. Tell us about this graduate and professional school fair uh, at WMU. We have uh, over 80 programs, um, quite a few from Western Michigan University, around the state of Michigan, uh, other graduate programs that will be here, as well as out of state, Illinois, Indiana, as far away as St. Louis. So we have quite a few graduate programs coming in to talk to students uh, about uh, their master's. PhD programs as well as certificate programs. And with so many options to choose from, how would a student go about finding the program that's best for them? Well, I, I typically will tell students to think about your career. Where, does, where is it that you wanna take your career? And then what we do is direct students toward, towards those graduate programs that will help them be prepared. For example, a, a person may decide they want to switch fields and that's not uncommon um for example we have a uh we get educators that decide they like education but they want to do something different so they may choose evaluation and measurement through our uh, college of education and human development and do more on the evaluation side rather than teaching um it's and so they come from all different disciplines and uh, so it, it's a good opportunity to talk to colleges and universities and find out what's out there, because there's a lot of changes in education right now, and a lot of new fields. Absolutely. And as you talk, Tony, about changes and, and people maybe going back to school later in life, what kind of support is there for them? Because obviously this is can be a very murky uh, thing to kind, kind of get through for them. Yeah, we offer support services to graduate students. Um, uh, and you coming back, you haven't been in in a while. You know, library services, um, writing support, um, professional development. So we work very close. We have a series of workshops designed to help students transition throughout their graduate program from the time that they start into job placement. So we are very much aware of some of the uh, interventions that we need to build along a student's career pathway, uh, educational pathway, if you will, into the job market. Wonderful. What a great opportunity, Tony. Thank you so much. So if people are interested, they want to come out, do they have to register? They can just show up? Yes, they can uh, They can come out. It's Tuesday, October 11th at the Bernhard Student Center on Western's campus. We have free parking. It will be 3 to 6 p.m. Uh, there will be a workshop on how to apply to graduate school. Unlike your undergrad, it will be a little bit different as you apply as a graduate student. So come on out, visit with us. We'll get your questions answered. And you'll have an excellent opportunity to meet with faculty from these graduate programs and uh, get all of your questions answered. We love to have you out. Wonderful. What a great opportunity. Tony, thank you so much for your time this morning.